to the book of the book of Exodus, Genesis, Genesis, Exodus, Exodus, the second, the second book in the Bible. Book of Exodus. Uh, go to the first chapter if you don't mind. Um, join in with me at the seventh verse. Let me let let me read it to you today. Uh, in the first chapter, ladies and gentlemen, the seventh verse it reads thusly. And the children of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly and multiplied and waxed as seed with a mighty and the land was filled with them. Now there arose a new king over Egypt which knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Come on, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply. And they come to pass, and when they fall out any war, they join also unto our enemies and fight against us. And so get them up out of the land. Therefore they did not did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens that they built for. Pharaoh's treasures, such as Pithom and Ramis. But the more they afflicted them, and the more they multiplied and grew. And they were grieved because of the children of Israel. I, I, I want to um, use for a subject this morning learning how to grow through afflictions. Let me say that again. Learning how to grow through afflictions. Amen. Amen. Learning how to grow through afflictions. Amen. Let, let me um, just unravel this the best that I can today. Learning how to grow through grow through some hardships, learning how, learning how to grow through some pain. And, and one of the greatest ideas in life is that sometimes it is good, I'm ready, sometimes it is good that the Lord does not move afflictions. Yeah, because if he moved afflictions, Ladies and gentlemen, we would not grow. In, in 1985, uh, Thomas, Thomas McGowan was sentenced uh, to prison after being arrested charged and convicted uh, with robbery and rape. In 1985, this, this, this man in Texas by the name of Thomas McGowan, uh, history says that he was sentenced to prison and he extended to a life sentence after being arrested, uh, tried, and convicted for robbery and rape. But, but in, 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 2000, in 2008, 23 years later, a DNA test proved that Thomas McGowan innocent of the charges and sentencing and, and he was simply the victim of a witness 
misidentification. Here he is. He spent 23 years in, in prison for, for a crime that he did not commit. The, the DNA test proved 23 years later that, that Thomas McGowan was innocent and they immediately released him from prison. And upon the release, uh, Texas government met him at the door with a check from the state of Tennessee. I'm from the state of Texas. And in the state of Texas, it's, it's, it's a law that anybody that serves on just terms would be awarded $80,000. Such a dog. If you heard this 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 man's story, he he teaches us that in your persecution you can grow. And and, and while he suffered unjustly, he was growing at the same time. And I want to tell you something. It does not matter what the circumstances are when you are in the will of God. God uses even your Christ to grow you. And if I had to put it in business terms, business terms would say it this way. What is the lesson learned? And, 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 and when you catch in hell in life, Uh, 
they, 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 they relocated where Joseph was. And he would be used to provide food for them while they were in a famine going into their land. Uh, while, 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 while they were there, the, the, the problem is that they, they stayed too long. And it was never God's long-term intention of, of them to stay as long as they did. And they, they, they made they made a resident out of uh, a refuge and stayed too long. Lord, I want to preach that. Sometimes you can stay somewhere too long. I'm troubling somebody. They, 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 they had the right life. But they were in the wrong place. Because they stayed too long. How many of you in here ever been in a situation where, where, where you can't get out of it, but you got sense to understand? They have been in this. I'm going to the house. I know I've been in this too long. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I want to help you sometimes when you stay somewhere too long. Don't let grass grow up under your feet. <laughs> and sometimes you can stay too long. When God never intended for you to stay. I want to have some saints in here. Stop blaming everything on God. When God has given you the power and the ingenuity to move. And as a result, as a can I teach? As a result of being in the land, the, the, the Egyptian king, by, by the name of Pharaoh, he, he observed their growth. And, 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 and he wanted to, to stop it. Because they were growing in enemy territory. Lord have mercy. This, ain't, this really ain't good. They continue to grow. So, so, so Pharaoh went and hired some taskmasters. I know the lesson. And, 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 and they had they had a sign. And the assignment of the taskmasters was to inflict affliction so that they would lose their, 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 their strength and stamina so that they could reproduce and procreate what was. In other words, he wanted to to make the men too tired to go home and, and procreate. Man, man, ain't nothing worse than they would have died, bro. That was for free. Soonness. You, you, you get home, you sleep. Verse 12. Verse 12 says 
the, the, the more they were afflicted. Can y'all say amen? He said, the more they grew. The text is, 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 is tailored to teach us about the dynamics of growth. And the first thing that you got to learn about the dynamics of growth is who is the author of growth. So he says in verse, verse 5 through 7, and all the souls came out of the lines of Jacob were seventy souls. For Joseph was already in Egypt. And Joseph died and his brothers and all their generation. But he gets to verse number seven and said that the children of Israel, they were fruitful Increase. Now y'all want to read. In abundance. Multiply. And wax. Exceeding mine. The, the, the last clause. Says that. And, and the land. Was filled with sin. Yeah. Right, let, let me argue with you. Verse 5 uh, come on, says, come on, Hey, she can watch it. Says, they relocated to each with, with 70 souls. That time. Verse number seven. They they are so big that you couldn't count. It's a dope. Verse verse seven said they they fruitful. They are bond multiplied, exceeding in their might. They, they, they went from child talk to me. They, 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 they went from seventy souls in, 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 in verse five to an innumerable number in verse seven. I can tell y'all again. They start. With 17 souls. And, 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 and when they relocate be, be, between two verses, they go from 70 souls Lord have mercy. to a number that they could not count. Y'all see. Verse number five. They, they saw the seven souls. Two verses late. They, they, they went from set to a new whole number. Y'all do a little bit on here. Verse number five. They had seven members. In the church. And then two, 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 two verses late. They, they, they go to a number that you can't put them in the church. So, so what that means in two verses? Where, where there were some years of 
of accelerated procreation. And two verses, there's some acceleration going on here. Verse 5 and 7. Hold on, going on, going on.
feel brushed and prophesied in your life. And then it is because God's word is in your life. And, 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 and I'm growing because God has already ordained me to grow. And I want to help y'all with something. It ain't nothing fun can do to stop what God ordains. See, see, if you can stop it, that doesn't mean you can stop the prophecy. And there, there's a friend named Dr. Uh, H. Wayne House, who, uh, who teaches at the Faith International University. He says it like this. He says, prophecy is history written in advance. Prophecy is not something that's going to happen in the future. Prophecy is something that's already done that can't nobody stop. Mm. Boy, I just freed somebody. Has anybody ever tried to sabotage you? And it didn't work? Somebody ought to go on 
and it is a process of saying, I got a blessing with your name on it. Can't nobody stop your blessing. Whatever God said, you ain't going to die before it happens. Lord have mercy. Anybody here got some prayers in the language? God going to let you see the glory of your prayers before you leave here from this earth. Sometimes speak a life over your children. Start getting big. All right. Yeah. 
when they start growing, they had to deal with Pharaoh. I can tell y'all that. And, and, and see, <laughs> hey Janet, watch. Pharaoh was never messing with them until they started growing. He didn't bother with them when it when was seven. Man, he didn't bother with them. But, but when they started growing, the, the, the minute they started growing, is when Pharaoh had problems. And, 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 and the devil don't, don't, don't never start Paul three years until you start getting better. Then the second you start growing, you are under attack. I tell you what, get more money than you had yesterday. And see how the devil start letting stuff break down in your house. That don't never break down. Uh, I, I want to tell you something. Uh, the question is, do, do, do you know why? Uh, uh, but let me put it this way. Uh, 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 dog, dogs don't bark at park cars. <laughs> He, he, he wasn't bothered with them until they started 
give them some, some, some sin that were easy. But now they got authority over that sin. Come on, Pastor. See, 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 he wasn't bothered with them until then they, they started going to revival, not just one night, they started going every night. He, 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 he wasn't. He, he wasn't bothered with them as long as the Bible was in the back seat of the car. Uh -huh. <laughs> he, he, see, he wasn't bothered with them uh, as long as they just prayed on Sunday, but when they started praying every day. Minute you start growing. And this going this gonna bless somebody. The, the minute you start getting better, you need to expect favor to show up. The, 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 the last thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look at the profile of Pharaoh. Now, Pharaoh uh, is, 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 is not the name of a person. That's right, that's right. Uh, Pharaoh is the name of a title given to the king of Egypt. So, 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 we, so we don't know his name, but but, but we know he got a title. And and when you, when when you start growing, it, it, it aggravates his position, and he's bothered and aggravated that your your growth is threatening his power. And he, he, he still ain't got no name, still don't, don't have no, nothing but title. He, he's threatened by the fact that your growth is going to be a threat to his position. And, and Pharaoh has no life outside of his position. Pharaoh don't go to no restaurant. He don't, he, 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 you'll never hear nothing about Pharaoh going to roof. He's not going to visit Houston's. Uh, he, he don't go nowhere. He just got a position. And, it, 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 and, and guess what? If the the big, big, biggest problem is that you threaten his life because you're being led by God. And, and you've just seen some people that folk don't even know them in their community. But, but they just got a title in the church. And they, they say, he a deacon at that church. She, 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 she president of the choir. She, she, she don't do nothing in the community, but she a mother of the church. I'm going to quit. And, and, and the question becomes, how, how, how do you spot favor when they show up? And the first way to spot favor is that favor has a hankering about disrespecting your history. Come on, man. See, don't nobody know what you've been through. Y'all treat me like you've been wonderful. See, see, nobody knows you And see, Satan doesn't care what you've been through. He just don't want you to grow. The, the, the text says that they knew not Joseph, which, which means it is, it's a new king. He, he, that comes in and it's not the, the sense of your accomplishments. I, I, I wish I had anybody here that can thank God that you have got over some stuff.
Pharaoh dis, dis, disrespected the, the, the history, but Pharaoh is also a deception. Pharaoh calls a meeting with, with the boys and said, I'm going to tell you that guess what? We, we need to get a plan together to stop these folk from growing. Because if they get too big, they're going to be mighty. Then we are. Lord have mercy. I want to argue that I'm going. How can you be mighty when, when you are not the king? Lord have mercy. Is 
Jesus, anybody in here had that ain't ashamed to own it. You got to show us. Thank God and that you're able to be here this morning. Because hey God, he blocked it. Get a get a witch. Get him like, no, oh, don't do that. And look at somebody and tell them, I thank God, cause the God I serve, he is. Oh, shucks. And in the blocking business, he blocked me from being in the hospital. Can I hear a witness? He blocked me from losing my job. Thank you, sir. He blocked me. And when the enemy was swirling all around me, can I hear a witness? Big one was here like this. Can I hear a witness? In the middle of my soul, anybody in here ever had anybody to make you cry? I come to tell you, we preach and make you for
Yeah. <laughs>